ALDS game number five. Oh, the old flip. The old bat flip between the Jays and the Rangers and the decisive game that sent Toronto on. Well, it set somebody off today. Let's take a look at this. This was an unbelievable moment everybody's going to be talking about. Matt Bush has been on the subject of a lot of people's minds, a lot of people talking about him. But that quickly was overturned because Bautista gets drilled by Bush. Both benches would be issued warnings. The managers would come out to discuss with the umpire. By this time, John Gibbons had already been thrown out. So DeMarlo Hale and Jeff Bannister have to make this thing work. Two batters later, this is what all the drama is about, Chris. Smoke, grounder, Bautista just right into, and I mean right into Odor. Take another couple looks. We've had a late slide issue with Utley last year. Led to a rule change, and then it led to this. And they called it interference there. So the, the inning ends... And all, even if they wouldn't have called it interference, uh, I don't know what they would have done because they started clearing the benches before the, 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 the play was even called. Look at that, a late, late slide. And Batista said after, hey, if I wanted to really hurt Rugnet Odor, I could have. I chose not to. There were just four guys tossed. There are 50 guys on the field. Odor, Steve Buchel, the Rangers bench coach, Joey Bats, and Donaldson tossed. Look at that connecting. You could have made an argument that half the guys on the field should have been tossed. That connection, oh, right in the jaw. Batista just, hey, give him credit, he didn't go down. <laughs> and Adrian Beltre had to pull him away from there, but he was clearly a little bit woozy after that. Tons of fines, and you better believe multi-game suspensions for people are going to be coming. Look, that's Gibbons running out of the dugout. Remember, I told you he was thrown out of the game? He came out of the showers, essentially, to make sure Bats was okay. You might be asking, why Why would you plunk Batista? Why would all this happen so late in a one-run game? This is the last time these teams are facing one another this season. Maybe the last time Jose Batista was going to bat. So it was the last chance, and um, somewhat fitting, that Bush was the guy that drilled him. Indeed, and can you imagine, Chris, if they were to meet maybe again, the next time it could happen would be in the postseason. Mm -hmm. Prince Fielder, then. Oh, Baron, the brunt. Chavez going right at him. He knew that was going to happen. So immediately they're thrown out. So the four guys thrown out from that particular incident. Then we have two other ejections. When all is said and done, the Rangers would end up winning the game by a final of 7-6. It's completely academic. Tons of guys talked about it afterwards. John Gibbons, who got tossed. Jose Bautista, that got tossed and Jeff Bannister as well. If you're Rob Manfred, you've got a major, major issue on your hands, Chris. Don't be sleeping tonight, Chris. All right, straight in from CompuBox. Let's get Teddy Atlas on the phone. The tail of the tape between Joey Bats and Odor. Who needs McGregor and Mayweather? We've got Bautista and Odor. I kind of see why Odor slugged him here. He doesn't really seem to have the advantage, although apparently he is ambidextrous, He's according to the switch, Red Is he a switch puncher? I mean, he can come at you from either side there. Wow, this is going to be incredible. Again, they won't meet again. This is your lasting image. We'll see them again, uh, UFC 200, I believe. <laughs>